Hey everybody, welcome back to Final Fantasy 16. So, uh, momentous events last time as we battled Bahamut in the skies above Twinside for control of the ability to uh, destroy or preserve the final mother crystal on the continent, on, the, on this half of the continent, on Storm. Uh, one remains in Ash, where Barnabas, King of Wallowed, is engaged from what we saw last time in some kind of weird sexual slave relationship with Ultima, of all things. Uh, and at the moment, we have Joshua here in the infirmary and Dion, the Prince of the Empire. Sylvester is slain, as is Olivier and finally Annabella, which means the Empire is likely in complete chaos. And uh, I have a feeling that with those momentous story, main, main story events complete, we're probably going to have a bunch of side quests and hunts to do. Uh, but let's take a look. Uh, we'll start out by looking at our missives here. Uh, okay, so first of all, greetings from the Crimson Caravans. This is from Eloise, who we met at the Boclad Markets. I trust you and your party gained the Dominion without further event. Should your travels ever bring you back to the markets and put you in need of additional assistance, you will find the Crimson Caravans more than happy to oblige. We might even offer a discount on our usual rates. Okay. Cursebreaker Intelligence. Uh, I recognize this guy, but I can't remember his name. Reports from our brothers and sisters of field are all the same. These accursed skies cast not only a pall over the land, but over the hearts of her people. Hearts already heavy from the fall of the Dominion and the destruction of Storm's final mother crystal. For now, the realm endures, but with each new flood do her few remaining children descend further into madness. The situation is, as ever, dire. Fresh wings shall find you on the new moon's turning. Until then, our watch continues. May the crystal's curse be broken. Right, so at the end of our battle, Ultima used some sort of magic to summon an enormous storm over the entire continent, and apparently the rains that are falling are causing floods and deluges, and it's, uh, it's a big problem. I'm not sure what we're going to do about something like that, but uh, obviously we have to do something. And here we have quite the mess from Theodore, Eloise's sister. Word out of Twinside is that there's little left of the capital after the Mad Prince's royal tantrum. But what of you and yours? Did you manage an escape before the city went tits up? I trust you did, but a still list might be good to set El's mind at ease. Okay, taking a look here, we also have some new hunts, that's right. We probably are going to check in with Vivian at some point. Uh, and we have new things at Karen's Toll and Blackthorn's Forge. Uh, as well as, it looks like, over here at the Thousand Tomes. So let's go take care of uh, our equipment first. I suppose we can check in with Jill, see, how, see what she has to say. Okay, fair enough. All right, let's start with Karen's toll. Let's ask her what she thinks about the skies. <laughs> I hope you're not expecting me to explain these skies. If I had to hazard a guess, I'd say we're the end of the world. The whole realm's in chaos. I've had orders canceled on me left and right, and that's from the few associates I haven't lost contact with. <laughs> but as the old saying goes, there's opportunity in adversity. The market for sharp steel's more bullish than ever. I'll find a way to keep this place fed and watered, don't you worry. I won't let our little family go hungry, whatever the weather. Fair enough. Okay. Now, uh... Let's see... Drake Slayer's belt and bracelets are better than anything we have. Uh, we're full on potions. We can buy one strength tonic. I guess that's it. Let's check in with our blacksmith friend. Ah, fretting about the skies won't help me get my work done. So I'm gonna keep my forge, leave saving the world to those better suited to the task. Unless, that is, they fancy giving me a hand shooing the birds. Uh, in terms of the forge, there's a new weapon here, Brightburn. We can use grindstone as a material. That will be a modest upgrade for us. Uh, let's see. The diamond armlets. Yeah, that's that white worm bone, but I think the stuff we have is better now. What about reinforcing? Um, yeah, none of that's that great. 
So really, we're just I guess we're just going to take this small upgrade to Excalibur. Two, two points each in attack and stagger. But hey, two points is two points. I guess that's that. Uh, next up, we'll check in at the hunt pool. Uh, it seems Nectar has some new hunts for us. So we'll, we'll start there. Then we'll check in with Otto, which will probably trigger a bunch of uh, side quests. Actually, let me take a look at the world here. We can't travel anywhere until we speak to Otto, so that's we're going to have to do that anyway. Let's do that now. Then we'll check the hunt board and look at whether some side quests pop up. ブキミナストラだな。ミドとロズフィールド卿もいる。三人とも無事だといいがな。そうか。こんな時に限って。クライブ。弟さんの容体も心配だろうが。すまない。大丈夫だ。今は俺たちでやれることをやろう。ああ。こんな時だ。打て
祭りごとを担う評議員たちが遁走もはや瓦解間近との噂もあるようださらにウォールード王国が機関アインヘリアルを動かしたとの一報も入ってきている今の世界を一言で表すなら混沌さ人が長い時間をかけゆっくりと築き上げてきたものそれがただただ壊れゆこうとしているのだから So the question that I have is it has the blight been slowed or affected by the destruction of the mother crystals? That was Sid's hypothesis. And now we've taken out four of them. I don't know if I can answer this question. I don't know if I can answer this question. I don't know if I can answer this question. I don't know if I can answer this question. So, I don't know if I can answer this question. I don't know if I can a n s w e r ただこちらは手がかりが少ない何か進展があれば伝えよう助かったよビビアン OK there's our political briefing Let's check in with the resident scholar and see what his thoughts might be おかしな空ねクライブよく来てくれたハルポクラテスこの空について何か分かったことはあるかアルテマを災いと見立て調べ直していたところ思わぬところでその痕跡を見つけたよ空の文明に触れた伝承の中にな太古の昔人が神に戦いを挑んで敗れ空の文明は崩壊した伝承によればその時にも神の見業によって空が闇に染まったとあるこの空もアルテマの仕業だとしたら同様の災禍を引き起こしたアルテマも神ということになろうな神か神という観点からいくつかの宗教を探ったもののここにある書物ではかすりもしなかった。Yeah, gods are to precious. Alright, back to Otto it is. I, I do have a feeling we're going to need to find that journal. Moss the Chronicler has been kind of a motif since the very first opening scene of the game.、Uh, he had information. He was the foremost scholar of the, of the previous era, I suppose. And it would be very beneficial to us to find it of the last remaining copy of his journal. So let's see if that happens in this book. マーサの宿はアカシアの大軍に襲われノースリーチには見たことがない魔物が現れたらしいそれにダリミルシクバが野党に襲撃されたみたいだわどこも混乱しているな石の剣の連中は各地の調査に派遣しちまってこっちも人手不足だクライブジルお前たちで救援に向かってもらえるかマーサイサベルルボルそれぞれに話を聞いて、対処に当たってくれ。わかった、そうしよう。支度をしたら、すぐに出発しましょう。Alright, so our allies need our assistance. 
And there's the Alliant Reports with the new, uh, <laughs> the new side quest. So let's take a look here. Let's see what Gout thinks about recent events. I don't mean to be gloomy, but the whole world's gone to shit. Reports used to be about troop movements and chances to set bearers free. Now it's all ether floods, Akashic attacks, and plagues of bloody bandits. Curse Breakers and all our other allies are doing what they can to keep their heads above water, but they need all the help they can get. They're counting on you, Clive. We all are. Okay, let's take a look at the reports. So, we have Why We Fight, The Flames of War, and Down the Rabbit Hole. Okay, so these are our three... These aren't side quests. These are our three allies who need help. Fair enough. If I go look at the world map here... One, two, and three show up. What about side quests? Anything? There's marks available, but no side quests at the moment. All right. Well, let's start with uh, let's start with our hunts then. Uh, all right. So the first one was a B rank human. The the ten of something. The ten of clubs. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Merchants who ply their trade across the fields of Karaba tell of an outlaw five and twenty hands high and mighty of Thu who preys upon unescorted travelers. They claim he lives alone in one of the many abandoned villages that litter the region, but none has been brave nor foolish enough to narrow the search any further. If you who read this have either or both of those qualities, the Dalmechians beg your aid. Okay, so uh, somewhere in the fields of Karaba in Vamer, Dalmechia. So, let's see. The Fields of Karava. I guess that's here. What's the fastest way to get there? Looks like it's half a dozen of one, six of the other to go either to the inn or the jaw. So let's go to the jaw where we can hop on um, uh, Ambrosia. I don't see Vimer anywhere. So this might be one of those moments where I'm probably going to cut the video here. Oh, Vimer, it's right there. Okay. Yeah, I'll cut the video here and uh, we'll be back in a moment as we approach our target. So see you in a second. All right, welcome back, folks. We're here at the indicated location. Let's see if we can find this bandit, the Ten of Clubs, and take him out. Should be somewhere around here. There he is. Okay. This shouldn't be too hard, I wouldn't imagine. He's only B rank. Looks big and slow and predictable. Late on the dodge, but that's okay. We have to parry. through that stagger ball. Very nice. Let's go for some uh, blocks. Yeah, that was late. There we go. Precision block. And then, oh, he's got a follow. Oh. Wow. Okay. Let's get some of that health back. Yeah, he's got a, a second on that. I should stagger him, okay. Oh, 
ahead and wreck him a little bit with one of these. Stagger him for the final time, and we probably get the win here. He's a little bit beefier than I expected. There it is. Okay. Had to use a high potion, but, uh, Notorious Mark slain. Uh, we're really getting up there with the, uh, with the ability points. I might need to spend some time, uh, figuring that out. Anyway, there's a, a deserter turned outlaw. There's a Mark taken care of. Let's head straight back to the, uh, hideaway and look at the next one. I suppose we should also take a look at, given that we have all those points, we also unlocked Bahamut's uh, abilities, so we should take a look at those, too. Let me fill up on potions and high potions. I forgot to use my strength tonic again. Um, Alright, so why don't we, yeah, before we go on this next hunt, we'll take a look at our abilities and we'll try out the new Bahamut stuff. So, if we go over to abilities here... Uh, let's see. Let's reset this. I think that's the only thing we had points in for Garuda. So then for icons, we'll, uh, we'll come over here and we'll swap this over to the new one, Bahamut. Bahamut, okay. Uh, begin casting Mega Flare, press circle to execute. Length of casting determines the potency of the spell, right. Okay. And look at that, it actually kept Pile Drive for us. But let's take a look at what the actual abilities are here. So we have Wings of Light. Uh, upgrading this increases maximum Mega Flare to level 4. We're probably going to have trouble with that. Then we've got Impulse. Summon multiple spheres of light that upon striking an enemy deal it continuous damage, binding it to the spot. Or Flare Breath. Breathe forth a plume of light aspected flame that deals continuous damage. Okay. That's 3 damage, 2 stagger. 2 damage, 3 stagger. What's this one? Satellite? Summon multiple light aspected familiars that attack any enemy on which Clive uses magic. Well, I don't really use magic. And then we've got Giga Flare. Huge damage. Fires a massive beam of overcharged light that burns any enemy it hits. Hmm. So that's kind of like the up... Well... Hmm. That's a big, big damage uh, uh, ranking. I feel like this would be good when you stagger someone, just to open up with this. This one I'm not sure how to use yet. It looks like it's pretty high damage as well. Uh, okay, so this is the stagger one. This is probably what we want to upgrade. And then we probably want to buy this as well, which means we're not going to be using pile drive. Hmm. I do like Pile Drive as an area effect, but maybe we'll hold off on Giga Flare for now. So let's just master this. Okay, so our new our oops oops uh, our new loadout uh, has us using Wings of Light. This means we don't have the deadly takedown on Garuda, but honestly, it wasn't super great at this stage of the game. We've got Impulse here. This has been mastered. And then we've still got Pile Drive here. We could replace this with Flare Breath, I guess. No, I prefer to have the area effect. All right, so this here's our new loadout. We'll, we'll play around with this a little bit. I really like Titanic Block and I love Phoenix Shift. So this second one's gonna be the one that mainly we change around. Uh, I may replace this later when we save up some more points to see 
what some of the other Bahamut abilities are like. Uh, but for now, this will be our loadout. Okay, uh, so we'll try that out in the next battle, uh, which will be, I guess, uh, an A-rank hunt here. Let's take a look at what we're dealing with. Okay, uh, the Magath Brothers. A lone rowing boat has been sighted making land off the coast of Port Isolde, its occupants wearing the garb and speaking the language of the Iron Kingdom Crusaders. One can only assume that they come to take their vengeance upon Sid the Outlaw for destroying that which they hold most dear. We advise against all travel to the area, lest they think to kill or capture our members in retaliation. All right, so this is in the quiet sands of Rosaria near Port Isolde. So... Uh, I will go ahead and cut the video here, and we'll see you when we're when we're there. Okay, welcome back. Uh, we're in the quiet sands, so our prey should be around here somewhere. I think that's probably them down there. Okay, three strong enemies. This is a first for us, so we'll have to see how this goes. Magath Brothers, rank A. Okay, so obviously we're gonna wanna wanna isolate one and take it down. It's gonna be hard to use some of these other uh, abilities otherwise. Let's open up with a quick Flames of Rebirth, and then we'll back off and try, oh, wait a minute. Why is this not? Oh, I guess the, the colors are just similar. Okay. Let's see how this works then. Alright, hold on to it as long as I can. And then, wait. Level 1 Mega Flare. Alright, that didn't do too well. I mean, it's sort of. Okay, I'm not quite sure I did that correctly. Three of them went together. Uh, let's try this one. Okay, so that's like a homing attack, so you can just kind of send it out. It does a little bit of damage over time. And then obviously we still have this one. Oops, okay. Let's, uh... We're gonna do that again. Alright. Let's use uh, another carry effect. Staggered some of them. Drop to the staggered one as best we can. Yeah, having three of them at once is kind of troubling. It makes it very difficult to do anything when we do get the stagger. Whoops! Oh, that's that's terrible. I got hit by that. That's not good. Make sure not to let that happen again. Okay, so this is casting. I don't... Oh, I see the Mega Flare charge on the left. All right, so as long as I... Okay. I can dodge while it's up. It's at max level now. Mega Flare level 2. So let's send it out. Follow it up with the other sort of self-tracking thing. He's staggered. That's good. Yikes. Okay. Oh. Yeah, this is a little tough with three of them. Use my area Flames of Rebirth again. Throw in a Lightning Pile Drive as well. Get one of these. Take one of them out, that'd be great. Okay. That'll do some work for us. Let's cast Mega Flare again. And Nah, that got interrupted, so it doesn't work. Okay. 
Okay, so you kind of, to use this, you kind of have to like, you have to just avoid damage for a while. There we go. Finished. Notorious Mark slain. Okay, so yeah, with three strong enemies, it's a little bit tough to kind of focus one down and get the dodges and the blocks and stuff. But that uh, Mega Flare is interesting. It's slow, but powerful. You have to get it charged up, but then uh, then it works pretty well. More vengeance. Okay, uh, back to the hideaway. And there's one more mark for us to take on, uh, our second S rank. This could be pretty tough, so we'll see how it goes. I may show the first attempt, which I suspect I will probably lose, because these things are... Uh, I, went the wrong, I went the wrong way. Actually, I need to restock my potions, so that's fine. All right, let's check out this S rank and see if we can take it down. Okay. So, Ruin Reawakened. San Rakwa legend tells of a dread dragon who sat near half the realm alight with his torrid breath before being sealed away behind a magical mist by Gregor herself, some sources claim. Though it has long been forgotten which parts of the tale are true and which parts are mere myth, recent reports of a great dragon's roar reverberating around the woodland passes of the Empire are real enough. Okay, so uh, once again, guys, I'm going to cut the video here. When I discover the location of this dragon, you guys will get to see me attempt to fight it and probably die a pitiful death. So we'll see you in a second. Okay, welcome back. Uh, so we are in the southernmost area of Mornbroom, south of the Cairnor Vent Gloria's Gate in the Holy Empire of Sanbrek. So here we go. Let's see what this s rank dragon is all about. we go. First attempt. Let's see just how bad this is going to be. Level 50. Uh -oh. The, I got the first dodge. That's a good start, but this thing's going to be a beast to take down. Red Dawn. Yikes! Okay, wow. Look at how much damage that did. Is this hitting him at all? Yeah, it's hitting him a little bit. 
I think maybe I'll back off and just try using Mega Flare. Nope. Okay. Okay, well, now may not be the time to take on this beast. Wow. Uh, <laughs> okay, so uh, I was not prepared for quite how much damage that one thing would do. I, I thought I was like in two thirds health. Um, I'll, I'll make one more attempt here, but I, I think we might be a bit underleveled for this. We might need to come back and face him later. Huh. Yeah. We barely dented him. We'll try one more time. We'll see how we do. Look at his stagger bar, it's barely dodging. I really thought I had that. Alright, let's try uh let's try building up a mega player for Nope. Wow. That's not I don't think that's gonna work. Any chance. Oh my god, I actually can block with the right timing. And Royal? Whoa! Okay. Okay, that's another precision dodge you gotta have. No. Okay. Wow. Yeah, that was that one was my fault because I was at low health, but I was trying to preserve my uh I was trying to preserve my potion, so, okay. This guy, I don't think I can handle him just yet. Uh, it would probably take five or six more tries just to learn the basics of the first first stage pattern. And we never even, we never even, I think we got him halfway to the stagger bar, so wow, yeah. We're gonna wait until we're a little bit higher level. At the moment, we are level 40 or, no, 38, yeah. So we're gonna hold off on uh, that particular hunt for a while. I'll let you guys know when we come back to it. Uh, but for now, that's a little bit much for me to handle. So we'll go we'll go back in the next episode into the main quest. The things fall apart here. We'll go help out in Martha's Rest, Northreach, and Dalamil, and uh, proceed that way. Uh, presumably after doing that, we'll have some side quests, maybe some more non-S rank level 50 hunts. Uh, but eventually we'll come back here and try Spar Sparbog again, uh, but not anytime soon. So anyway, that's going to be it for this time. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I hope you're looking forward to next time, and let me know what you think in the comments below the video. Other than that, we'll see you then. Take care.